It's all ours, isn't it? <laughs> Yay! With duct tape and everything. <laughs> So we'll bring you the cash and get the title and then get the key for Mr. Bradford. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, bye. Okay, so they want us to come by the unit office in Carterville and give them cash and they've got the title there. It's just down by the fire station and then Mr. Bradford's got the key and hopefully they've got the whatever their cameras and equipment out. So. I'm gonna call him. We're gonna go get our bus. We just signed the papers. Joey's got them. And uh, they've got all their stuff out and we're gonna go get it. title in hand and we are the proud owners of this bluebird bus and it's the tanks on empty that the fuel lights on we're gonna have to go straight to a gas or diesel pump which is on the passenger side and fuel this bad boy up or bad girl <laughs> whatever it is we don't know yet we'll let so it decide we're gonna take this thing home are you excited to drive it for the first time <laughs> yeah. you've never driven no. anything this big no no, and it's, I mean, it's got some tail swing. It's a big, long 39-footer, I think. It hangs out about 12 feet off the back of the rear wheels. So, we got a narrow little gravel driveway at home, too. It's going to be funny trying to get it home. But uh, here goes. <laughs> okay, there she is, number 25. Got a little duct tape on the door. I got it all cleaned out too. That was nice of them. Alright. We gotta make sure that. Oh my gosh, it's ours! It's our first bus! It is. Our first home. Uh huh. Make sure all the hatches are latched before we take off. It's got storage on the driver's side right here. Needs new tires. These will get us home. And maybe new rims. 39 feet. So. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to get started on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's ours now for sure. So. Okay. I'll follow you to the gas station. So it's kind of fancy. It's got tinted windows and mm -hmm. the big storage bays underneath there for all our baseball bats. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's get this thing started. Okay, oh, sliding into the driver's seat here. Keys are in it. So I know these. I know a little bit about diesel at least. So it's in neutral. Wow, I didn't even look at this. It's got reverse, neutral, overdrive, drive, second, and first. There's no park. But it's got a parking brake right here. And it's got glow plugs. There's no spark plugs in a diesel. Close this. So we're gonna start it. First time, our very own bus. We did start it whenever we looked at it, before yeah, we well, bought it. <laughs> Mr. B started it for us. Oh, okay. I guess I started the other one. Yeah. Okay. The key's not turning. Oh, it's dead. So... <laughs> it's dead! We have to go get batteries for it, don't we? First thing. I think so. 
<laughs> well, it wouldn't start the first time we looked at. This is our, this is our third time, and he had it on a charger whenever we came the second time and heard it run and everything. He had charged the batteries, but I think there's bad batteries in it, and they're dead again. They're dead. And I had suspected that, because that's how buying a bus goes. <laughs> it is. I wonder who would have three batteries, because it's three huge batteries. Well, we're going to take the three batteries out, and where do we go for three big batteries like that? We'll have to call around. I mean, we'll look at what type maybe we'll, we'll see who's got three in stock okay so this is how buying a bus goes Yay. and we'll uh we'll be back soon i guess with some batteries at least we got the uh, keys and the ownership and the title yeah okay time to get batteries for it okay <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing joey <laughs> well, they're big heavy batteries they sure are you want me to help you Okay, that's probably good. Battery type. There it is. 31S-5. Hi, yeah, I was wondering if you have uh, batteries for sale. <laughs> Mostly buying a bus is making phone calls and taking notes. <laughs> there's there's some hurdles we found out, you know. And where the... Oh, I can't... I don't want to cuss on our channel. Where am I going to buy a battery at? Okay. <laughs> We're gonna, we'll, we'll get back with you, and we'll let you know how this turns out. Oh, we got power. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got power, Danielle, is what I said, I think. Yes. We heard something beep when I connected this battery up, so. Look at this, three brand new batteries. About $300 here already. We haven't even got it out of the lot yet. <laughs> Money pit, anybody? Just kidding. She needs some love, but we got a good deal from the school. Yeah. Because they pretty much knew it was going to need a few things, you know. One of the bus drivers came over and said how he loved this bus, a great running bus, loves the Cummins uh, diesel engine, and uh, he said the tires are pretty good, a lot of life left in them, the front ones especially, but on that side, because it's been parked here with the south exposure, the other side's more dry rotted mm -hmm. from the sun. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing I was thinking when we are RVing, we need to get tire covers for when we park. Yeah. Especially in the sunny Arizona desert you know? yes I can't wait to get there <laughs> but we have a long way to go we got a long way to go we still got to put a house inside of this yeah well we got to take the seats out that'll be fun huh yeah so fun okay so when you turn the key forward one notch there should be glow plugs a glow plug signal On the dash, is there a light that says it looks like a glow plug light? Glow plug light? What's that? I don't know. Wait to start. Okay, that would be the glow plug. Okay, now that light is off. Turn it over. Break pressure, it says. Start it. And park. Start it. Start it. It says oopsie. Okay. Okay, should we try again? Yeah. There's like a, uh, there's a uh, bolt lock back there, or whatever, the slide, you know, slider bolt locks. I locked it earlier, and uh, that's what was making a connection to, to tell us the emergency exit was locked in case all the kids <laughs> had to get off of this thing. And you gotta have it all locked up before you can start the engine. No, I unlocked it. Oh, you unlocked emergency it. Emergency can't be locked. Oh, okay. So the kids can, ah, I'm out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, so, here we are. It's running. It's running. Okay, let's go get some fuel. Drive it. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. 
Oh, but we've been working on this for a few hours, so let's get some fuel, man. It is on E, and the red fuel line is on. And even the computer said you need to get some fuel, so let's go. All right. Okay. It's all systems go. Here it goes, man. Brake in. Release the uh, emergency brake there. Put it down and drive. She's moving. It rolls. Brake light just uh, some warning just went off. Okay, so she swings pretty wide. Looking like right now. ABS or brakes are. Probably it was low on coolant when we uh, started it up the other day to look at it. So shift smooth there in the second gear. It's the first time I've drove this. We actually just listened to the engine and it was, the batteries were dead, so we uh, didn't get a chance to drive it. It's out of fuel too, but for the price, there we go, third gear, it was really smooth. It's a five-speed Allison transmission, so uh, really shifting smooth and driving pretty good. I should probably get off of here and drive it because there's traffic up here, so I'm going to drive it straight to the uh, gas station and get some diesel fuel in this thing. So we'll see you there. trip here well I mean we were about a mile from where we bought it and this is where they said they get fuel <laughs> at this hubs but uh, as soon as we turned out on Greenbrier there it uh, started to overheat and I could hear a whooshing noise right underneath the hood and it was uh, the overflow on the radiator was blasting coolant out and it started to get hot on the uh, you know on the gauge but we were almost here we were like just blocks away so I just cr coasted into the gas station and we pulled up and there's only one pump in the, the I, I was the was, uh, fuel, we were on the wrong yeah, side we were on the wrong side <laughs> it was on the wrong side so as soon as that happened and we're overheated and then a big rig truck pulls in behind us to use this pump so we had to move it we out just of the way. get out of the way <laughs> just got out of the way because otherwise we're gonna have to back up and turn around and make him wait and uh, so we let him fuel up and then we went inside It's pumping fast, so there's 65 bucks, 18 gallons. Already. Yeah, and the uh, temperature was better whenever we were moving it around the gas station here. It wasn't yeah. overheating at all, no. so or losing any fluid. No, staying at 210 or, or so on the gauge, and that's about where it should be probably. Yeah. 210, 220. So we're uh, open to just the thermostat stuck or something happened, you know? Yeah. I mean, it could be there's air in there and it couldn't circulate, some steam built up, you know? So hopefully. Well, we're gonna have a mechanic come and look at it, and uh, mechanic friend, yeah. Had to switch <laughs> hands, man. So holding this on, there's 24 gallons so far. So uh, 
Yeah, it's got dark on us. Yeah. <laughs> we're, uh, we're doing it, you know? And there's going to be some hurdles, and it's going to be hard at times, and we're just now trying to get it home, so... We're a long way still. <laughs> <laughs> it says, do not fill tank over 95% of liquid capacity. Tank is 95% full after initial pump cutoff. Okay. All right. Rule number one. Well, these things are all about safety, man. And they are solid, too. I mean, they're built to protect the kids. This thing is going to make them nice. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. We bought our first home together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's 95% full. coolant in it, but it's got, must have air in the lines, or, uh, I don't know, we only live like three miles away. Yeah, but it's spraying coolant everywhere. 